And you know what? And now again, this isn't me being racist or anything, but I'm just reporting the facts. <laughs> all right, well, <laughs> pause. By sweeping under all the fucking history of all the shitty things that have happened to lead to where things are today, yeah, yeah. it's easy for a fucking racist to divide to devise a lot from these statistics. Where, yeah, oh, people try and look at it. It's just it's just fucking numbers, man. Like you can't argue with the numbers, but yeah, no one ever asks about like you know. There's a lot of fucking black people who happen to be in impoverished areas, and why is that? There's a lot of historical reasons why that is. It's not because they're fucking black. A lot of people are just trying to get you to come to this conclusion that because black people are whatever, there's a higher percentage of this or that like that makes them all fucking bad that's the conclusion that they want you to reach that black people are fucking terrible and that's just not the case fuck you yeah so fuck you you dumb fucking bitch stop spreading hate and vitriol hey that's hey a cunt. Guys, guys she's not being racist okay she said it she said it oh. that makes her not racist okay well you i know? apologize you know i'm yeah. i'm not racist but <laughs> what, 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 with all the shit that gets fucking uh, called out in, in this country that's not actually fucking racist, uh, you know, I, I'm going to come out and just say that shit like this is is reprehensible. Like, it, it, all it does is fuel yeah. people to thinking, like, there's, there, there's a lot more racist, bigoted people out there in America like this than there actually is. is. And all that does is feel more hatred and bigotry from people on all sides of the political spectrum because everybody looks at the most extreme examples of everybody who's being a racist fucking shithead, be they left or right, and everyone points to that and describes that as their entire opposition when there's so many people who are who are in between or, or aren't that fucking extreme. It's sad. Yeah, let's let's hear her explanation for why she's not racist or why what what whatever. I I, I don't know what okay. her point is yet. Discrepancy. If there is truly, I, I'm not really buying it, but if it's true that uh, the coronavirus is disproportionately affecting black people and they're- Ah, uh, shut the fuck up, up you dumb bitch. not true. Where, no where... one asked for your opinion. Are you a medical professional? Are you anyone who has any clout or anything to do with- Like, people, at least when they come on here, they know what they're signing up for. It's a few fucking stoners. But you're trying to derive all these things, trying to present yourself as a professional, displaying statistics, trying to give a, an, an opinion that's informed, when at least we pretend, like, we don't fucking put on this show yeah. like we're, we're informed or anything. We... And I do put some fucking research into what I look into. I'm like, this dumb fucking bitch. But we are not an authority on anything and we fucking admit that if it's affecting you know one group more than another i mean like could that not just be like a community thing kind of like you know you have this dense fucking population that uh or condensed rather population that you know shops at like the same fucking uh, mega mart so obviously like if you have a community that visits the same few stores because you know local commerce is suffering i don't know if you noticed but a lot of those communities don't have a lot of stores and if they do they tend to face financial hardship so obviously, like over time, that's going to be a factor. Would you not say? I mean, like we're talking about like the place where people get their fucking resources. Who gives a fuck? Okay, d never mind. I'm just I'm trying to like speculate with fucking facts. It's funny to me that a lot of these racists are just kind of like you know we are the superior race and we're better, and these other people are dumb. It's like it tends to be the case that a lot of those people are really fucking stupid or dishonest or both. Even someone like um, God, what, a JF, who has like an education in uh, evolutionary biology. Oh God! Like eventually, he just sold out, and he's like, "I'm just gonna pander to a bunch of fucking racist fuckheads on YouTube." That's it's where the money easy is. Money. It's easy yeah. money to be a fucking polarized person on this fucking platform. Like, if and you're like th the this fucking bitch on the left. screen. I mean, like, she's either a, a pawn of those people, or she's you know dishonest enough to to be like, "Oh yeah, well, I'm gonna do the same fucking thing." I'm just going to quote a bunch of uh, statistics that have, like, no context or ex explanation behind them other than implying that black people are inferior, and that's going to be it. Well, I don't buy it, and neither should anyone else, but unfortunately, we have a... a, a sp Our fucking species tends to fall for dumb ideas. ...virus at a higher rate than white people, then I do have to say this. Here's what, we're, here's what, what I'm seeing. I'm getting reports, okay, from uh, some folks saying that they're seeing a lot of black what folks sources in their community having parties and barbecues and crawfish boys you know who else did that my white neighbors i mean I, i'm just pointing out like I, I mostly see fucking white people but here's the difference is that i'm not going to derive that white people are stupid just because i see mostly fucking white people being dumbasses and going out on these fucking beaches when there's a fucking health pandemic going on i don't derive anything from that because i know that they're fucking stupid people of all shades colors and nationalities this is clearly a case of like she's she has her own fucking bias and she wants to like uh, like 
justify her, her fucking clear fucking hatred for black people or whatever. Like, it's... Maybe she, I'm not going to assume she hates black people, but she clearly doesn't have the best fucking opinion of them right off the bat. So it's like, it, it's clear you have a fucking bias. And for you to say, I'm not being racist, but these are just the facts. It, it seems more like you're trying to correlate something that you think, oh yeah, th 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 this there's a correlation here, you know? This but is like a Karen level of racism where like she clutches her fucking purse in Walmart when she passes by like a black fucking worker. Oh, maybe... They're causing this. Maybe they're bringing. Maybe cause, they're causing they're this. They're causing it. No. Maybe they're causing yeah. it. Co See, th this is just a clear case of. Um. Well, these two things correlate, so maybe there's causation. Here's here's what I deduce from this. I think that this woman is particularly racist against black people. Because what would most racist people uh, do in this situation? They they would use coronavirus as a way to um be racist towards yep. Asian people. But she's specifically going after black people, which black people have honestly nothing yeah. to do with the origination of like, coronavirus. I, I could have seen maybe, maybe, maybe. I still didn't agree with it, but maybe the the people freaking out about black people over Ebola, like, oh my god, we're gonna get Ebola from black people because Africa. At least it's from Africa. Yeah, it's still fucking ridiculously it racist, but at least it was from Africa. No, like you know? it's it's as and because I think the 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 being afraid of Chinese people is also ridiculous because just because Agreed. it came from China n n doesn't mean every Chinese person has it. It's so, essentially blaming a group of victims or, or people that fall victim to a virus for, like, yeah. the, the existence of the virus. Kind of like how people used to say, like, well, some people still say this, but uh, it's kind of like, you know, gay people, they, they gave us AIDS. It's like, no. Victim blaming. It's like, oh, it, you you, you, yeah, you had this terrible tragedy? Well, fuck you, you caused this. Yeah, and and it's, a, yeah, you, it's especially... You were probably just, like, partying or something, well, yeah, and then, you know, you got it that way. It's especially insulting to gay people, because it's like, oh, you have this horrible disease that's happened to you? Well, fuck you, you must have deserved it. In fact, God probably gave you this disease to, to punish you for being a butt pirate, you filthy fucking sodomite. <laughs> fucking gross, dude. <laughs> fuck Christianity. All right, Jay. I'm so sick of it, dude. Yeah, fuck Christianity. <laughs> I agree. You know, let's check in with our buddy Stephen Anderson. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I am hey, gay. Stephen Anderson here from Faith Forward Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona, to let you know that this Sunday... Our services are going to be back to normal here at Ooh, Sunday. Sunday. The governor of Arizona earlier this week made a speech and he declared that the stay at home order is being extended through May 15th. But churches are Listen not required this. to be closed right now. And we've already done our part to. Slow so there's a loophole. Up. So we gonna take it like, yeah, hold on. We've done our part. I mean, <laughs> you have not done your fucking part. A quarter of a million people have died thus far, and it's only the beginning. What do you... We've done our part. Like, it's over now. Dude, these Christian motherfuckers are going to be at the center of the next outbreak of this. I, I, absolutely. Like, and, and you know what? I, I, hey, I'm not going to be shedding any fucking tears. Oh, boo-hoo. A bunch of Christians decided they were all immune from coronavirus, so they decided yeah. to go out and gather in large fucking gatherings. I... I I'm not happy about it, but I'm not exactly sad either. I'm sorry you made your own fucking bed, motherfuckers. Well, the thing that concerns me is, like, you know, you have, like, just like Jesus Freak, these people have kids, right? Yeah, those exactly. kids have friends, and those kids no, have agree. siblings, so that makes naturally over time, like, you, the parents are not only going to be, like, the ones getting infected. You're going to have the yep. kids getting infected, you're going to have classmates getting infected. That's honestly, that's the part that makes me really sad, because there are a lot of children that, do, in fact... I, I, I'm going to say this, yo, I, I have a little sister who's who's being raised by a fundamentalist fucking Christian who still continues to take her to church every fucking Sunday because he believes that he's protected. So I, this, this shit especially hits close to home for me. It makes me absolutely sick that these people continue to, to, to do this because they're, oh, we're protected, we're washed in the blood of the lamb. Prove it, motherfuckers. Prove it. Because you know what? A lot of you are getting sick. A lot, I know, a, I know of a lot of Christians that are getting really fucking sick. So, so you are not protected. There's no evidence whatsoever to show that you're protected. You're full of shit. And, 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 and you are literally, you're harming yourselves, your children, and, and the rest of the fucking community. You're harming literally everyone by being stubborn little fucking snowflakes that, that, that have to, you just have to view yourselves 
as fucking persecuted at every turn. The government issues a stay-at-home order for your own protection, and it's like, we will not be oppressed. We we have the right to, <laughs> to, 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 to practice our religious freedom. Motherfuckers, you're gonna get yourselves killed. You're gonna get other people killed, and it's gonna be all on you. Freedom to lie. Freedom to die, freedom. more like. They think they're protected, and so they're going to put others at risk, and it makes me fucking sick. All you have to do to find, like, the mentality of these people is watch, like, the films. They constantly fucking shit out. You know, films, like, Left Behind, where it's like, everybody else yep. fucking dies, and they're gone, and yes. they're fucked. But the, cri Absolute the Christians, they stayed. Yep. They survived. Dude, that's They're what special. I've been saying. That's what, like, they are a death cult. They enjoy the idea of everyone else dying but them. They love it. That This is the thing people don't fucking realize. They, like, all of us are fucking terrified by this coronavirus crisis. I promise you. I promise you. And the reason I can promise you this is because if I was still in that that Christian mindset, and it makes me sit, sick to admit this, if I was still in that Christian mindset, I probably would be sitting here right now, wringing my hands, be like, oh, fuck yeah, coronavirus, it's gonna take out all these non-believers, and us Christians are protected, and then, you know, it's gonna be the end times, and, and Jesus is gonna come back and reign, and all these non-believers are gonna fucking bow before him, and they're all gonna fucking have egg on their faces, because they're fucking idiots for not believing. I used to think that way. And that's the way these people currently think. Not only are they not afraid of this crisis, they are actively, some of them, hoping that it destroys this fucking planet. So why the fuck should we let them make any decisions? Why the fuck should we should should, should we allow them to, to continue doing this shit, putting all of us at risk because when of they my don't religious care. freedom? They don't that's care why. about us and they hate us and they want us to suffer. It is so gross. You don't, you don't like Lost, dude? Come on. Okay, okay let's listen more of this. 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. By the way, the government or the state or the, his city or whatever absolutely should be fucking suing this motherfucker or slapping him with a motherfucking fine. The, the churches should not be allowed to be open right now. And to be... Like... These fucking churches, they fucking sit there and prey upon fucking people, don't pay taxes, pretend to be charitable organizations, and literally put society at risk. And, and, and we just allow them to fucking get away with it. Ugh. It's because, like, politicians are such fucking pussies when it comes to this shit. And it's because, like, they make up the vast majority of people, at least for the time being. They're heavily declining in, in numbers, but for the time being, you know, they make up the majority, and as such... Politicians have to pander to them and, and handle them with Dude, um, kid gloves. Politician, a lot of the politicians believe this shit. They're fucking Christians themselves. To. I mean, like, they 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 believe. Like, I'm sorry, no, there there are absolutely people people in government that are that, that that are and have been legislating in a, a certain way to because by the way you, you want you want to you want a reason why I, I think uh re republicans wanted to start a fucking war with uh, uh iran or whatever absolutely uh, money money yes but there had to have been fucking there's prophecies people believe these fucking prophecies people are trying to self-fulfill for years like oh we have to start wars with these countries because literally i used to think that way i just think oh yeah fuck yeah war is gonna happen yay war we're gonna have the end of the world this is how these fucking this Christians is also why they, this is also like why they fund israel so heavily it's because yes. like they, they have religious um Absolutely. arguments for that Absolutely, it's all based on a fucking fairy tale. When are we gonna stop letting these people uh, 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 damage the rest of our, our society based on their stupid okay, so, so fucking let's just, fairy let's tale? Okay, let's summarize what they like. What's going like the things we've mentioned? So, <laughs> taking your taxpayer money and funding another nation based on fucking flimsy arguments that are you know entirely um a fucking biblical, and then beyond that, putting others in danger, including their own families, um. And beyond that, they don't pay taxes. They prey on the dumb and naive and the desperate. Thank you, hypothesis. Thank you, uh, hypothesis, yeah. hypothesis for uh, the $3. Somebody should read Luke 4.12 to him, um, which uh, Jesus answered, it is said, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Well, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> do you think they care? I mean, you know, what you're saying makes sense because, I mean, like you're pointing out, a, um, you know, a, um. Not a hypocrisy, but like a lack of consistency there. Well, yeah, because I mean, like, of... you know, since since when have they been concerned with that? I mean, it's never going to happen. 
by it's what true, these though, people want like, is to be like the main protagonist of like you know a film where like oh, everything yeah. else is fucked but oh, they're well, fine dude, because they have the faith absolutely you mentioned left behind earlier dude tell me every every christian ever doesn't view themselves as i'm kirk cameron yeah look at yeah, me, it's I'm just gonna... like fucking god's not dead you know like the one atheist gets hit by a fucking car and dies like <laughs> bleeding in the middle of the street and it's like you know they, they celebrate that at the end of the film they're like, something wonderful has happened because he gave his life to Christ in his last moment. Oh, I, it's, it's fucking horrible when you think about it. But I mean, it's such a it's such a prevalent faith that it's like, how, how do you possibly navigate around that outside of like waiting for it to vanish on its own? I, I disagree with you both on something. Oh, OK. Well, I'm convinced um, I, I surrender my will to Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> The role of religion in government. I don't think um, any of these fucking people in our government actually believe in God or anything. I think religion's just a tool that's used by our government to I manipulate think, people. I think there's, okay, there's no there's okay. no such thing as a holy war let, or anything. Let me... George Bush George Bush when he ran, went around and was talking about God while he was fucking uh, making war on Muslim countries. I don't I don't believe for well, one let, second that he let, actually let believed anything. Let me amend that. Let, let, let me amend that. Okay, maybe they don't actually believe it themselves, but you don't think that the, like their base believes it and their base loves that shit. Like I said, when I was a Christian, I was like, oh fuck yeah. We're going oh, to yes. war oh fuck and, it's, and, it's a tool to control the people it's a tool to control the people and that's what yeah. i want to make clear so, it's not i, I it's not just not like, like jingoism people. it's it's the same fucking thing that, that, that's why when i when i when you mentioned i believe the iran thing i was like no it's 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 about money and that's what it boils down to because you know what these these do these people do worship something they do have something worship that they have like as you know basically as the almighty thing which they pledge their lives to it's called the almighty fucking dollar we have been shut down for one month and I just believe that based on the numbers right now that, that are so low in Arizona. And I haven't been able to shout in people's faces for one whole here, month, guys. I'm breaking down. A major outbreak here are very low. So we're going to go ahead and reopen. our uh, Hold on. Starting hold on. The chances of an outbreak happening here are very low. First off, yeah, citation you know, yeah. fucking needed. Secondly, you don't think you fucking going outside en masse is going to change that? He's trying to dupe people into a false sense of security so they'll come to no, the it's, it's safe ceremony. out here. People are, are, you know, they're isolating. So we're just going to go outside and fucking contradict that. I think the saddest part about this is that, like, you have people who justify that by saying, okay, well, the economy requires it. Don't you see? The economy. It's like, you know, what's more valuable to you, the continued survival of our species or money? Mmm. You know money. Yeah. You know what the worst part is about all this is that his fucking, you know, the fucking people who are listening to this guy, they're they're dumb fucks. They're all gonna be there. It's gonna be a full fucking house. Everyone's gonna be back. You know it's gonna yeah, be. Yeah, because Jesus is gonna protect them. Dude, people voluntarily like go every single week to have this guy shout in their fucking faces. You don't think they're gonna return after a fucking month? I'm sure they miss that shit. They love that. It's because shit. like he just echoes their bigotry in, in a way that they can't fucking communicate verbally on their own. It seems to me like the far right and the far Christian right are just like detrimental to the survival of our species, huh? No shit. Wow. No shit. Wow. Well, Who would have hey, seen that coming? Maybe, hey, whatever, dude. Maybe, they'll, maybe they're detrimental to their own survival. Because you know what? Well, yeah, no shit. Uh, but there, there's a collateral damage well, to be had well, in the well, way of that. What I should say is maybe they're a little more detrimental to their own survival than the rest of us.